Okay everyone, hello, it's that time of the week again. I am so happy to be here and I'm so happy to be doing this again. That's right. That's right, it's time to jam. It's that time of the week and we are jamming right now with one and only Shirley Burgess. Now Shirley Burgess is a let me just uh, get this all out of the way. As with all these Facebook lives side by side, I will be monitoring everything on this mobile in terms of the comments. So get involved. You know, let me know if you're watching this either live or if you're watching this on replay, just drop a quick hello on there. You know, don't worry. I don't bite and show you that there's definitely not gonna be biting. So let's do this. Uh, right, so let's cancel that. And Shirley, Hi. how are you doing this evening? I'm very well, thank you. Nice to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Good, 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 good. I'm so happy that you are actually here. And as we can see in the background, Forever Living Products and the banner is there, represent the brand loud and clearly, uh, which is which is really good. You know. So while we're doing that, let's get something happening right now. Uh, I'm just going to get some music in the background. And come off it. I, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes the best way you plan is just don't go. I, I know Shay's loving this right now, but hey, guys, if this wasn't live, it would be nothing. So, <laughs> put your comments on. Let us know if you're watching. Say hello to us. Drop a quick hello. All right, so let's get on to it. Shirley, tell me more about yourself because, you, you know, you're not only forever living, but you've had this uh, unique background would be the best way of putting it. <laughs> Which, which one was that? The part that I was a soldier? Oh, no, I didn't know that either. <laughs> so, yeah, tell us about that. <laughs> well, well, I mean, when I left, when I left school, I um, absolutely didn't know what I was going to do because I failed all my O-levels, all the important oh. ones, that is. So, oh, okay. um, so I thought, yeah, do something different. So we joined the army. Okay. That's six, <laughs> six <Right>. years later. <laughs> yeah, six years later, and, and then what happened? Six years later, we, we terminated our contracts with the army and became civilians again. Ah. Okay, so which, uh, you know, I know with armed forces, many people can't really talk too much about it, but which, which part of the armed forces was you? Was the army or? Yeah, I, I was in the army. I. Uh, in, back in the day, um, the women had their own corps. So I joined. I joined the women's army corps. Okay. Um, okay. I, I was attached to the Royal Ord Ordnance Corps um, as a job. So I was a glorified clerk. <laughs> well, you know, someone's got to do the admin. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, but instead of doing the admin, I spent all my time on the sports field. So I did a lot of athletics and played stuff like badminton and netball. So it wasn't nice. much, not too much of the hard work. It's more grafting at sports rather than grafting at work. So when you was doing the, the sports, was that where your, your interest in sports developed or did, was that a thing from the childhood? Ah, it's just something on from childhood. I mean, I always loved running. So um, getting the opportunity to compete at you know, a reasonable high level in the army was really good too. So, um, I was part of the army team for the six years I was there. So that could be really great. Wow, it's fascinating. You know, and again, having someone who's actually competed on, on a certain level, any kind of uh, sport, is always a uh, you know it's a treat because again you got a different mindset uh, as well as train your body as well yeah. the discipline the focus there's so many more factors that go with it health is another factor uh, and again you know right. what you put into your body which is what forever living products is kind of about isn't it yes it is kind of about that yes you kind mm -hmm. of hit the nail on the head there we're we're about the whole health it's you know um, lots of lots of people look at forever and they think, ah, oh, it's that thing that sells women's um, cosmetics, but it's not. It's a company that looks after the whole health. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female, whether you're young or you're old. There's something there for everyone. Ah, okay. Well, let me turn that off because you know what? This is more fascinating than listening to any kind of music <laughs> in the meantime. You know, so. Let's go through it. So you had the army, you joined the army. What, what age was that? 17. 
17. I'm six years later, so he was 20 ish, you know. So, yeah, mass. I failed mass at GCSE like five times, and I'm still a mortgage advisor. That says something, doesn't it? <laughs> so, um, that's a good thing, you know. It just goes to show that no matter what, you can do what you wherever you set your mind to. But you joined the army at 17. Uh, so 23, you came out of the army, you'd represented, you'd done a lot of running. And then what did you do after that? Well, I thought I wanted to um, work in the city. Hmm. So I, I got a job with a ship brokers, but that didn't last very long. Um, okay. Because it, back in the day, when, when, when you became pregnant, you got sacked. <laughs> so, so, um, okay, wow. So, so people talking about, oh, you know, maternity leave and all of that there was there was those things are non-existent you, you had a child you stay at home and look after kids you know so but um i was fortunate enough i had some money saved up so i i spent a year with my son and then um went and retrained and then i retrained as a a, a shorthand typist okay. so that's that's kind of dating me now <laughs> We're not yeah. gonna. We're not gonna discuss that. You know, it's rude to go down that road, especially women. And then um, after I did the, the retraining after a year, and um, then I went to work for a charity. Hmm. Um, I, I kind of found my love of helping people at, at that point, rather than um, helping commercial companies to get richer. Hmm. So, um, yeah, so I spent my next two or three jobs was actually working for various charities. It was quite wow. fun because it meant I was actually helping people in, in various ways. So Yeah. Yeah, I mean, anyone who works within a charity, just, just in general, you know, most of the time you have the idea that a person's volunteering for a charity. It can be a lot more deeper than that, you know, uh, a lot more uh, commitment. Yep. would be the right way of putting it. Sometimes it's more vocational than anything else. You know? uh, what kind of charities were they? Um, well, the first one was um, a drink and drug um, charity. So people that had a problem with, with drugs and alcohol. Hmm. And then I went on to work with... Have you heard of Turning Point? I have. I so have. But unfortunately, it's not the turning point that you're thinking. <laughs> They're, they're a large charity that they kind of, um, they were started out as an advocacy for, um, company and then mm. developed into looking after um, different client groups. And when I joined them, um, HIV was the big thing at that time. Yeah, so, 1984, I believe. Somewhere around those times. Yeah. Um, so I, I went to work with it. Um, with Turning Point in, in had a, a nursing home in Earl's Court. So I was one of the administrators there. So I wasn't actually working with the clients, but working in the background, working. Mm. And um, when when all the funding stuff changed and we couldn't get enough money to run, run those particular um, nursing homes, we all got um, redundant and um, redeployed and all of those rewords. And um, I left and I joined Sport England, which brought me back to my love of sport. <laughs> hmm. Sport England. Now, was that like the, you know, from, from I'm going to be showing my age now, the Sports Council. Was that the, the, the uh, previous iteration of the Sports Council? Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the actual name is the English Sports Council, but a brand name, which everybody sees, Sport England. So okay. yeah, Sport England and Sport Scotland as well. So um, they all, all work together to um, to support grassroots sports and build up so people ha can go through from grass sports through to elite. So yeah. the agencies work with other agencies to develop um, the athletes at varying levels. Which is also fascinating too, because again, you know, you need that support with, with anyone. You know, especially if they want to take things seriously. And there's so many people who are talented that just don't have the facilities. That's it. Yeah. You know? so um, one, one, one of the um, the um, things that Sport England at that time was meant to do was to ensure that um, grassroots sports got funded 
mm. and there was sufficient um, facilities, sporting facilities. So everybody should be able to find a facility of some sort within 20 minutes of their homes, which is quite a major target. Yeah, especially as many of those facilities were being shut down because local councils were selling off like sports fields and stuff like that. You know, so, um, yeah. yeah. But again, you know, you had to be there doing that kind of work. Let's face it. Someone had to be doing it. I'm glad that you was there, you know. Um, <laughs> especially too. during that time in the 90s, you know, where, where again, this is where I'm going to be talking a lot more and showing my age. But a lot of the, the kids who came from disadvantaged backgrounds were from my sort of background, you know, ethnic minorities. You know, yeah. uh, whether there was the, the, the West Indian kids or the African kids or the Asian kids, we didn't, not all of us grew up in, in fantastic environments. So the majority of us were living in the council flats. So, yeah. you know, the work that guys like yourselves done was there to help them out and, and make sure that we were looked after. You know, we had something, otherwise it would be the streets for many of them. And yeah, for some I, it was. But I for some it was. in the council flat. <laughs> I grew up in council flats in Stockwell. <laughs> makes two of us <laughs> makes two of us i grew up in stockwell too so yes yeah hence why you know we, we got that similarities in in many of the the sense of humor that we've got um and then you know you were sporting for up until up until when up until 2009. okay so, so that was a long career that you had there yeah so it was, it was good um, and but there was lots and lots of changes during that time because I was there when they gave up the the lease on on Crystal Palace, which was wow. like really big, big, big changes. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was, and then we had to move up because my my offices were actually when I started working them was actually in the stadium. So um, then so we moved out and went up to central London to the head yeah. office. So we shared with the regional office shared the head office. Um, facilities. Um, uh, did you find that better for you? or No, because I wanted to work locally. I didn't want the traveling. So yeah. um, so in, two, in 2009, when they offered redundancy again, I thought, you know what, just take it and clear off and go and do something for yourself. Uh, and, guys, uh, just, just while, you know, there's a very strong chance that most of you guys will be watching this on replay. If you are, just drop us a quick like or hello. Just let us know that you're there. You know, I hope that you're enjoying this and you know, give us a follow. So, we, you know, since that uh, 2009, when did you get into Forever Living, you know, as, as a consultant? I, I joined Forever Living in 2010. Right. That um, that was after, after a year of... Um, soul searching basically because i was trying to find a part-time job yeah. um, locally and they were kind of non-existent and the, this opportunity fell onto my lap hmm. it, you know it's things happen in in the in the strangest ways the the person that introduced me to to forever lived across the road for me for a number of years and i never knew her wow and it wasn't until i was actually looking and she said hey come take a look at what I'm doing. So she's a midwife working part-time, um, doing this business successfully. And I thought, you know what? I've got plenty of time on my hands. So there's nothing wrong with me saying yes and learning what I needed to do, which is what I've been. It's been an amazing journey. Yeah. Yeah. And again, not just a product, but also this multi-network, multi, uh, well, multi MLM, mm -hmm. multi-level marketing as well. So network marketing. Um, there's a huge element of network marketing that goes behind it. So as, tell us a little bit about Forever Living. What is it? Well, um, Forever is a, a health and wellness company. They're a um, global company, 43 years old, um, and in a, over 160 countries. So as business owners with Forever, we can work in any of those countries. You know, we just need to know people there or know somebody that knows somebody there um, mm. you know and it, it, it allows us to um to build businesses all around the world mm -hmm. which means that we are helping lots of people to live different uh, you know live the lives that they actually want to live rather than um, and what is, well apart from you know again you had taken redundancy 
and you was just looking and you researched it, what made you actually go into this forever living life? It felt like something new and it felt like something that I could do that nobody could ever take away from me. Okay. It, the, the, the diff for me, it was because I, I said I wanted to work part time. So this this opportunity, you can work the hours that you want to work. So if you decide that, you know, if you wanted to do something full time, you can make it a full time business. If you want to make it a part time business, you can make it a part time business. But it's certainly not a spare time business. Hmm. Nobody has time to spare. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> I, I know exactly where you're coming from there. <laughs> um, and, okay, so traditionally forever living is known for aloe vera, you know, since it started in 1978. So it seems to, there you go, aloe vera, you know, and, and um, what, why did they focus on aloe vera so much? Well, when, when Rex was looking for something that would benefit mankind or womankind or people kind he thought of something that health would be a good thing so um they looked at this product and um he, he reset he started the business with um a couple of doctors so they yeah. looked into into the aloe and the benefits that they could get from it and once they found a way that they could stabilize it then they ran with that and that's one of the reasons why they've just stuck with it because it is an actual amazing cocktail of nutrients is what mm. you get from the aloe vera well we've seen in in shops all over the place you've got aloe vera drinks ah. well now you talk about aloe vera drinks and aloe vera drinks aloe vera drinks in the shop is glorified sugared water right yeah, I know. You I know. know that, don't yeah, you? I do know that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I have to yeah. try and, you know, people are just going to be working. If, you, if you're looking for proper health benefits, you actually do need um, to use the, 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 real, the real products. Mm -hmm. um, and and um, the reason for that is that if you want a cocktail of nutrients, that's what you'll get. There are over, what, 200 species of aloe vera? But only about four of those species are any has any any benefits to to our bodies. So um, it is it is important that you know what it is that you're taking when you say you're taking aloe vera. Well, a lot of the beauty products which are out there always have an element of aloe vera within them. Yeah, a small amount, mm -hmm. and and this is where this is where forever is different with all our products the base ingredient is the aloe so we start with that then add the warming herbs like if we wanted to say the heat lotion hmm. you can't see. so this starts with a base ingredient of aloe vera then the warming herbs uh, eucalyptus and i can't remember what they are now are added whereas with other companies the aloe vera is the last thing they add so they add a little bit gotcha and I take it that with that heat lotion, that's for like muscular pain and stuff like that. Yeah, it's amazing massage lotion. So you can use it as a as a massage um, lotion if, if you've got um, headaches, a little bit on your temples. Mm. It's magic. Um, any kind of aches and pains you have, this is re this this is a really amazing product to use rather than taking a load of. Um, yeah, because it's natural. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I understand that part. So, okay, so that that's again fascinating that we, we're learning about these kinds of things. That there's more products that are not just something that you eat or drink, you know, which is, you know, and and again with aloe vera being one of those products, you know, forever living. What you're saying, the base ingredient is the aloe vera itself. But is it just only aloe vera that you guys deal with? Well, we have. In the main, the other thing that we do, and we're well known for, we're actually the world's best beekeepers. Mm. So we, we, we have a very small range of beehive products. So we have um, a royal jelly, the bee propolis, the bee pollen, and the honey. 
Yeah. And that's as much as we do in terms of the bees. But some of the, like the propolis is actually added to one of our moisturizing lotion, which means that we can use it on dry skin challenges. Okay. So any, any kind of dry skin challenge that you have, the propolis cream is a really, really good cream to use. Um, Are there any kind of negative side effects with any of these kind of products that you're talking about? No, there, there is, there isn't anything um, that we found that's contra to anything else. Um, you don't have the side effects that, you know, like if you use steroid cream, so where it thins the skin, the aloe will actually nourish the skin, which is the ah. opposite of what other things do. So okay. you, can, you can nourish the skin by using the lotions outside and you can nourish inside by using the drinks. Oh, I uh, just want to say, Murtaza, thanks for joining in with us. If you've got any kind of questions about this, feel free, ask anything. We're, we're absolutely happy. You know, um, just just go for it. Um, okay, so when we met, we met at a networking event. Yeah. You know, it, was, it was for networking and it was it was good fun. It was in Croydon, uh, funny enough, because that's, that's where we're very close. We live in that kind of area. Um, and again, because there's a, a network marketing element behind it, multi-level network marketing uh, element behind Forever Living, tell us more about your sort of experiences, because you've been in Forever Living since 2010. So that's yeah, over 10 years. years. Yeah. Over 10 years. You must have seen a lot of ups and downs. You must have had a lot of challenges when it comes to people, you know, uh, recruiting <laughs> and, and my my biggest challenge with people is I was just afraid of people. <laughs> so <laughs> for me, it, was, it really was a massive learning curve. I actually had to learn to to go out and meet people. So when you when 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 I when you invited me to that um, meeting, it was like, you know what? I have to breathe and just enjoy it because it's it's very challenging in a room of people that are really confident people and you're going in new to a situation. It's, it's really nerve-wracking. <laughs> you get used, to, oh, again, this is from personal experience, uh, doing networking for a long period of time. Um, you get used to it. The very first time that you're doing it, your head starts heating up, your throat gets dry, you fumble your words. But gradually, you start finding your way, you find your feet, and you're absolutely okay. Most of those guys, when they feel confidence, because they're seasoned at doing it, but when they all got there, they all felt the same way as you did. Yeah. Um, okay, so, yeah. So tell me more about how you what, would go about recruiting people. Would it be they would come to you direct? Would you go to them? I go to people and people come to me. Um, if I meet them online, we, you know, we have a conversation, but we take the conversation offline so we can actually um, get to know what that person is looking for. Mm. I mean, obviously, network marketing, network marketing is brilliant, but it's not yes. for everyone. Yeah. So we could we kind of need to work out what that person is looking for. Are they prepared to work for what they say they want? Mm. or it's just a fanciful idea that you know it's a it's a good thing but when when it comes to the actual work they're not going to do it so we have to work out what it is you want and to find the solution that suits that person so you get to work with different kind of people because lots of lots of people start out saying you know i'd love to earn an extra 200 pounds a month and as long as they're willing to do that work and they see, once they see that they can earn it, they think, oh, well, if I can earn 200, maybe I can earn 400. Yeah. Uh, and, and so, and once, once they decide on what it is they want, then we plan the business to help them to achieve that. So we never, we never um, just bring somebody in and let them, let them alone and let them struggle along. We really work with them if they want to be successful. Um, and if you want to be be successful in, in network marketing, you actually do need to learn the skills. And that's what we're here to do, teach the skills. Yeah, skills is one of the big things. And again, also coaching and all the rest of it and going through. Because again, it's a business at the end of the day. And you have the same things within business that everyone has. You have your wins and you have your frustrations. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but the good thing is with network marketing, you have a, your upline is a coach. They will understand yeah. or they, they they've been through it and they've gone through you know and there's not you know you'll find out eventually there's very little separating just it's just more a matter of looking to do it exactly and the, the, for us the training that we get is amazing amount of training 
Um, I mean, at, at 8.30 to, tonight, we have a training um, mm. around, you know, around the products as well. So we do quite a lot of training. We are always updating. Um, and as the company brings new products in, we, we learn about those products as well. And one of the way we learn about them is to actually use them ourselves. So this box that I'm there is half drunk. <laughs> so I'm drinking that <laughs> as I go along. So. And that was funny that you're talking about that because when I first, you know, when we went to our network uh, meeting together, you brought three bottles of the same aloe vera drink, just different flavors, and you made everyone there have a taste. Uh, yeah, trust me, one of them was very which, which, strong. Which one did you like best? can't remember but i do remember the one that i didn't like the best and it was very strong in this taste i had to drink two cups of coffee to get the taste out this was the one you didn't like best that's the one <laughs> yes <laughs> very strong um it tasted like a, a drink called bitter which uh you know you being a jamaican background you know what i'm talking about that little capful and take yeah. it in and it's like oh, goes right through the system <laughs> Clears it right out. So that that's that's why what it reminded me of. Thankfully, it didn't do that to me. <laughs> well, it, it would it wouldn't have. It, it's it, usually you'd have to drink more than a capful for it to yeah. have that effect. Yeah. Um, so and, and in saying that, it um it can have that effect because it's we we use this particular well we use more than one flavor now in um mm. in our weight management programs. Mm. So um, in our weight management program, you drink a lot of this. Mm -hmm. So it would have that effect then. And also you've got other products as well, like uh, like you mentioned with lotions, but also soaps and things like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. just general hygiene and keeping well. But yeah. or, 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 or everyday ranges or shampoos, deodorant, tooth gel, um, what else? Soap, uh, sanitizer. Mm. Oh, yeah great product this one don't need water if, if you're in in an area where you don't have water that's an absolutely brilliant product to use and well, it's funny you actually talked about you know uh, sanitizers because i was going to go on to the next part about the lockdown because again <laughs> with, with the huge element of of network marketing you know whichever product it is it's spamming people how did you cope or what did you do to, you know how did you adapt to lockdown measures well we were really fortunate um prior to lockdown we all had an online shop so that wasn't anything new but as the lockdown came the company shifted quite a lot of stuff online for us so mm -hmm. you know our, our, our product launches that we would probably do face to face we were able to do online as well um because we can still demonstrate the products, although the, the, the only thing is people don't get to touch and feel them for themselves. But the upside to that is when they buy them, they carry a 60 day money back guarantee anyway. So, mm. you know, if they think somebody, something's not suited, then they can always return it and get their full money back. Fascinating. Yes. So, so and, and, and signing people up was also an online thing as well. And we always had that facility, but the lockdown is made us use it a lot more so, and how about yourself you personally how did you cope in lockdown well for, for me it, it was kind of a, a bit of a godsend because it took that element of fright out of actually face-to-face -face meeting people <laughs> so, you've been doing it for 10 years I've, I've learned i've learned so much on zoom it's amazing <laughs> technology oh, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. I agree with that. Zoom and so many other technologies which are out there, you learn so much from them. Um, <laughs> YouTube, YouTube was my best pal. Uh, just, just learning so much about, you know, like I mentioned before previously, uh, advertising and digital marketing, just pushing it that way. So yeah, um, yeah. But, but more about you, because again, how do you keep your team motivated? you know you've obviously over 10 years you've built up people underneath you uh who you helped to motivate and mentor what were their sort of challenges that they were going through i guess that some of them didn't have some some of those challenges because the ones the ones that are the younger ones already um 
really great with, with Facebook and all the, the, the social media stuff. So for them, it's a brilliant thing. Um, it's, it, you know, it's prob probably doing um, the face-to-face -face or the, the worry about how are they going to manage um, the customers when they weren't able to meet them. Those were the kind of challenges we had to do. But once they learned that, you know, you can do the same thing over, um, over the airwaves, basically, they came to terms with it. So it wasn't, it wasn't too difficult to manage that. Uh, I mean, just study after study recently has come out and said, you know, everyone's done more online based shopping. So with the online uh, challenges that you get from Amazon and some of the eBay, some of these other online retailers, and you being the face to face, predominantly face to face type business, you know, because uh, it is products. Yeah. What other challenges did you have? You know, did you ever have like the usual, well, I can get it cheaper here, I can get it cheaper there? We, we, we do get that occasionally, but when you're comparing like for like, you can't get it any cheaper anywhere else. Um, when you're comparing chop for cheese, then <coughs> you, you, you know, you'll, you'll get something somewhere else cheaper. But if you want the, the proper stuff, plus my expertise, then, you know, it, there's nothing cheaper. I think that's a valuable lesson for a lot of people who are, who are going to be watching this that are looking at starting their businesses or being entrepreneurs and you know doing that kind of stuff. Uh, the 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 reason why I say that is because they're going to be facing you know the same kind of challenges. You know everyone faces exact same things. Amazon is again one of the top retailers out there, online platforms, but you can't beat people. That's right, and yeah. and it's 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 about the quality of service you get from an individual. Mm -hmm. So the, the the customers know that you know if they ask me something they they'll get an answer. If I don't know the answer, I know somebody in the team that does. You know, after all, we've got teams that have, that consist of lawyers, doctors, nurses, administrators, bookkeepers. So somebody there will know something that they want they want to know. So if you know. If I can't remember what's in this product, I can look at it. Yes, we can send them online to look at it. But there is a team member there that have enough experience hmm. that would be able to talk to them about whatever it is their fears or challenges are around a product. Um, there's somebody there that can speak to them. You can't get that from other online services. Okay, I just have to read something out. Muchas um, gracias. Thanks for uh, being on here as long as you have. Uh, you know. When you need to, at any point, feel free to watch us on the replay and watch the rest of it. Thank you for keeping with us for as long as you have. Um, he actually actually mentioned really interesting products. I'll have to have a look at the website. Um, feel free to share my name with Shirley. I'll be interested in, in a bit more info. So, uh, you know, I'll be uh, passing his details on to you after we've had the, uh, you know, after the interview's over. Um, so, We've addressed the, the Amazon challenge, which is out there. Um, you've looked at teamwork and team building over 10, 10 plus years, the, the sort of challenges that you've had, product challenges as well, because again, ever-changing environment um, with different trends and different tastes. You know, uh, 20 years ago, it was about vegetarianism. Now it's about veganism. Um, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot more social responsibility and having looked at forever living products they're, you know and also as, as a as a company they are socially responsible mm -hmm. and it seems to fit in very well with what you've done over over a period of time definitely i mean for for um when rex was looking at this business i it, it has, i can only say it's a man of great foresight mm. because the the, the aloe that he has it's grown naturally it's not mm. fertilized it's not forced in any way all the products are in the ground for at least four years before they're hand harvested right. so nothing there's no machinery in in terms of harvesting the product so when that the, the aloe is harvested it's in perfect condition the guys in 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 the um the what do you call it the factory that does all the the, the peeling and stuff mm. of the gel all of that, everything's done by hand. There's no, no machinery is used, used for that. And everything, every product that we have is actually fully traceable. Fully traceable. That's how much it, it thought has gone into it. So organic for us was 
there long before it became trendy. Mm. I know I know not all our products are suitable for vegans, mm. but we have products. I mean, for for instance, this is yeah. suitable for whoever. Um, some products vegetarians won't mm. won't won't be suitable for. But as I said, there's something there for everybody. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's predominantly plant based. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, I did do a little bit of research. <laughs> um, okay, so as I'm conscious that you've got your, your meeting at 8.30, it's now 7.34, and we, we will be wrapping this up in a couple of more minutes. Uh, you know, so if anyone's watching, you know, Shirley, where would, you, where would people be able to contact you if they wanted to join you, you know, talk to you about forever living or listen to you know maybe look to make a little bit of extra money through a network marketing element behind it how would people get in contact with you oh i I'm, I'm trying to be very popular in social media so i'm actually on linkedin and i am on facebook and, and I, I do have a business page which is called shirley b forever health on facebook okay. um and you have my number yeah, I'd call, well, I was, I was planning to delete that as soon as I got off this. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as, as lockdown is now coming, you know, we were almost our lockdown. What do you feel is going to be for the future? Not just uh, for every living, but for yourself. Well, for myself, um, I'll do, still do quite a lot of online stuff. Um, face to face. I I'm, I'm, I think I will limit it. I won't mm. I won't be as readily out there as I used to be. Um, to be honest with you, there's absolutely no need. There's some things that yes, it would be great, but it doesn't have to be. Mm. Um, Forever has gone from strength to strength, and I, I I I believe that what we've got online will probably stay online. Um, the product centers mm. will reopen because we always interact. We have trainings, and yes, yeah. some of the trainings need to be face to face. So it'll be a combination of things. It won't be one thing or the other, which, you know, and, and, and to be honest with you, because um, the, the business owners are scattered far and wide across the country, mm. when the trainings are online, it means that people don't have to travel so far. They don't have to overnight stay in, yeah. in hotels and stuff like that. So it's great to have those trainings online. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Lifesaver. Uh, yeah, the success days that we have, um, or we had, some of those will come back because it's mm. great to, you know, to um, see people going across the stage for their promotions and whatever, <laughs> to be recognized. And, and the company thrives itself on recognition. So mm. those those will definitely happen. But some of the other stuff will more, more than likely stay on. Yeah, I will admit, we've, we've um, learned more about digital marketing over a time period and seen that you know, definitely while we were locked down, it was a different way of getting content, getting your message out to people. Yeah. And you're right, LinkedIn is one of the good places for that. Facebook is still, for me, the number one uh, platform out there. Um, and, you know, hence why I'm doing this on Facebook rather than, you know, any, any other platforms. Um, I know other people will disagree with me on that one, but that's that's completely down to them. Um, but, you, you know, you've given a lot. You're giving us a lot about, you know, forever living, about yourself, you know, uh, and, you know, what you plan to do in the future. So, you know, and it's almost uh, 7.40, so, you know, I know that you're going to have to get ready for your, your online training, have a little bit more pick-me-up. Actually, what would you recommend, apart from the drink that you gave me, um, what would you recommend to, like, you know, eliminate tiredness? Well, the drink that I gave you is a perfect thing no it wasn't it, it, all it was it woke up the taste buds that's what it done you know you just felt the art you felt the taste straight away it woke you up because of it it wasn't okay, okay. There, there, there's there's a number of things you could do um in, in in one sense you you could actually maybe go to bed and a, a little bit earlier yeah mm -hmm. that's true yeah. That's that's one of the things you could do, but I mean we do have products that are are uh, um, geared around the energy. So we have um, super greens, ah. 
So that's a, that's um, a, a product of a sachet of twenty fruits and vegetables, which is which is quite sweet. Mm. Uh, and then we also have the RG. This is a large. A little bit more, a little bit more across the camera, please, Shirley. Ah, cool, perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and and we have um, well, Q10. But mm. this, oops, wrong way. This one works on, on at the cellular level. So my morning drink is this. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah. Plus this, plus the super greens, plus the RG as a cocktail first thing in the morning. And I have to say it, you, okay, I'm not, right, this is going to sound so racist on me. I know they say black don't crack, but. <laughs> You absolutely look amazing, you know. So you know that that just does show. You know, there's a visible effect there. Thank you very much. That's not makeup, because you know, I think a lot of people. No, can tell I, the I, don't, I don't do makeup. That's what I was saying. A lot of people can tell when you when a person's wearing makeup versus when they're not, especially on on something like this, which is low resolution. You know. <laughs> So yeah, so, yeah like, definitely, like, definitely, that says a lot about the aloe vera in terms of the product itself and what it does for the skin and all the rest of the the benefits, health benefits that's got out there. And again, I do have, you know, we do have people within the group uh, who are health and fitness uh, either enthusiasts or they're trainers, you know, personal trainers. So you know, and I think just in general, um, if you would love to put your your details after. You know, on on the actual uh, uh, comment section, so that people can contact you uh, at any time. Yes, I will pass your number out, but feel free at any point. If there's any special offer, just to put it into the, the Facebook group at any time. You know, as a, as a special thank you from me. You know, for for doing this. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. um, we we actually do now have the facility to be able to offer discounts personally to oh. to, to to our customers where. Um, and, and the system will take care of it for us. Whereas before, if we wanted to give a discount, we would have to work it all out. But now I can just send a link, a discount link to somebody and they can shop. And it's not a discount on just one product. It will be a discount on the whole shop. That is fantastic. That is really fantastic news. Please feel free at any time. Just put it in there. Anything that you would like to do. You know, that's what the group's for. I want to make sure that, you know, Guys, I do have to apologize. I haven't been able to be as active within the group as I'd like to be. That's because everything's blown up again. So there's been a lot of been in demand, uh, you know, for, for my services. And again, that's down to you guys uh, just put, promoting me and putting forward very good uh, reviews on Facebook and on Google. So thank you for that. And I appreciate you, you know, for you doing that. Uh, Shirley, please feel free at any point. I'm more than happy, you know, as, as you're a member of the group. This will be a wonderful thing. Um, we're going to bring it to a close. Before I go, guys, tomorrow, yes, we've talked about coming out of lockdown. So my Facebook Live is going to be on the finance element. So from commercial all the way to mortgages, what's happening now? Because finance is changing. Bounce back loans are gone. C-bills finished. So what are the new sort of loans that are going to be able to help? you as as a, a business owner or as a mortgage uh, either residential or commercial or buy to that one of the new products which are going to be coming out there how can you gain access to it who are the best people to talk to so that's my facebook live tomorrow and you know tune in for that let's have a great week just looking outside of the weather you know it's starting to brighten up a bit more go out there enjoy your time at the in in restaurants and the pubs have a fun time, but be safe at all points. Please don't forget to wear your masks. You know, for obvious reasons. Um, it's not about the mask going to protect you from other people. It's going to be you protecting others. Because of, you know, just in case, if you're like me, asymptomatic, you know, Superman, um, <laughs> you're not going to, you know, you're not going to know about it. So tune in. Let's have a great evening. And guys, get out there. Let's have some fun. Thank you so much, uh, Shirley, for being with me. You're very welcome. It's been lovely chatting to you, Art. <laughs> no worries. And guys, have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>